Once upon a time, there was a man. The man's name was Steve. Steve Rocco. And this is his story. Mixed in with skateboard articles and stories of graphic sex is an article that details how to kill yourself. Us Segundo police are looking into the magazine, but they say one of the problems is they're not sure if the Roccos have broken any laws. We looked at all the rules that everybody else had and went, this is stupid. We're not playing by these rules. We're going to have our own rules. His name is Steve Rocco. Anybody who can afford a skateboard, steal a skateboard, or buy a skateboard, I think they're all interested during that time. I would say what Dogtown did, the image, the impact they left, World Industries absolutely left the same imprint, but in a different way. Video. He is the best thing that ever happened to skateboarding. I don't know if anybody else thinks that. He was actually like broadcasting change to skateboarders around the world. I mean, that was a real time of, of high, high energy and a lot of creativity. No more for heavy metal! It was like a revolution in skateboarding. I love Rocco. Kill Rocco. Everything that wasn't cool, we did. Because we were just like this. To, you're defining us? I'm Johnny Knoxville, United States of America, and I'll be doing a little article on self-defense equipment. It was like just running amok, tagging on the walls, skating the blank boards down the steps, climbing the walls. It was chaos. As much as I loved how creative and stuff it was, but there was a point where it turned into a real mob mentality, and I, I didn't like that about it. Okay, here's the thing about skaters. It's pretty simple. You set them loose, they do whatever they want. They will destroy everything around, and you can sit there and laugh at it, but the problem is when they're done destroying everything, then they go for you. With the man who saw the world, 